Well, now to Kyiv, where heavy shelling rained down on the Ukrainian capital for another day. And tonight we're learning more about the harrowing final days of American James Hill. CBS's Charlie Daggett is in Kyiv with his story. Like so many people in Chernihiv, James Hill found himself trapped inside one of the most brutal battlegrounds of the war. Known as Jimmy to his friends and family, the 67-year-old Minnesota native was in the northern city to look after his partner, Ira, suffering from MS. With the bombardment worsening by the hour, his last Facebook post read, intense bombing, limited food, room very cold, Ira in intensive care. And there is no way out. In Pittsburgh, Katya Hill said her brother thought of other people to the end. My brother was a peacemaker and he was a giver and uh, he just felt everybody in the world should love each other. But still, he was a helper. A helper who became one of thousands of innocent civilians to die. <laughs> in Kiev. A son cries over the body of his mother. <laughs> Killed when a downed missile sent shrapnel and shards of glass tearing through the neighborhood. The Ukrainian military said this is the result of a missile that was intercepted. And you can see the level of destruction. Every single window is smashed out, not just here, but in the surrounding buildings. Imagine if this was a direct hit. Nadia Yurosiuk told us she has nothing left. And where are you going to go now? I don't know, she said. I am alone. My son died a year ago. I don't have anyone. I hope that Putin dies. I curse him. Nadia is not alone in her anger or fear. With Russian troops unable to make any significant ground progress toward the capital in recent days, they're increasingly turning to launching strikes into civilian areas with devastating and terrifying effect. Nora. Terrifying is right. Charlie Daggett, thank you.